Myanmar's least densely populated region, Chin State was very different from anywhere we've been in the country so far. The people here were Christian, not Buddhist, and made up of a myriad of ethnic minority groups. Closed off for more than 50 years, Chin State had only recently been open to foreigners. As we headed deeper into the Chin Hills, people were more and more surprised to see us. There were no paths marked on the map for the next leg of our journey, but our friend Paul pointed us towards a small dust track which led to the next village some 60 miles away. We were set to travel into what was surely the most remote area we'd ever been to on any of our travels. Yeah, anyone who sees us now is just going to be like, what are they doing here? There's no reason for them to be here. <laughs> but conditions weren't ideal. The riding was increasingly difficult, and I seem to be coming down with some sort of tropical flu. Whenever I stop, my fingers start tingling, and I have these weird head rushes. It's really not the best condition to be doing this road in, but um, the adrenaline helps to some extent. You've got to have real concentration on the road. You can't have a split second just looking to the side. And the potential drops are getting steeper and steeper still. Incredibly beautiful landscape we're driving through here. Proper tropical rainforest now, high up on the side of the mountain. This guy doesn't know what to make of us. <laughs> Five hours later we arrived at Bochung village, where the locals were very surprised to see us. We've been invited to this guy's house. Suddenly, a group of agitated men entered the room, the village council. They were discussing why we were there and whether or not we could stay. Then an English speaker arrived and the mood lightened. How do you think the people of the village felt when they saw us? Uh, you know, <laughs> they're surprised. I mean, they're surprised and they feel nervous because it's the first time that they see what people are. I mean, you guys the first time. Wow. Okay? Remember that you guys are the first time entering here in this village. Don't feel scared, all right? Feel free to stay here. Oh, That's thank you. you want, guys, you can stay here. Oh, I appreciate have, it. Yeah, no problem or whatever. Oh, I just made orange juice. Oh, oh, thank, oh you thank you so much. You. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> and this, this is Mr. Ting's sister. What's your yeah. name? <laughs> Annie. My name is Annie. Annie. Yeah, okay, yeah. nice to meet you, Annie. <laughs> we later found out this was the first time foreigners had come to the village since the 1930s. We were very lucky to meet Ting and Annie who had grown up in the village, but had since moved to Dubai and Singapore and had returned to visit family. We're so lucky we've arrived when there's a wedding. Yeah. It's great. This is our table of honour. Everyone's very surprised to see us. Mm. Confusion all around. Two people got married. No, they were inside. Inside. Yeah. <laughs> Her friends, the bride and groom. <laughs> they're really proud that just their wedding day. Yeah. They have um, these white people I mean, so from the foreigners, so they really feel great. Oh, they really that's cool. Yeah, they told me that. This is a fable about a bagel. Rice is okay, but bread is my staple. Been eating yeah. bread since I was in a cradle. A granary loaf was my guardian angel. Ciabatta, naan, flat bread from Iran. Finest malt loaf from Turkmenistan. A cheese bread is Germany's all about Khan. Every tub of loaf has got a certain charm. Quick freestyle, quick freestyle. <laughs> okay, okay. We came from English silver birch to go to a chin church. <laughs> and village hospitality cures me of my malady and helped me arrive happily. <laughs> but the fun didn't end there. The head of the village council and his friend took to the stage to do a skit imitating us. We are the part. <laughs> I never have reached. 
Yes. You will not love him. I am Miss Todd. I am Miss Sot. I am the opposite. <laughs>
And what, what about if your mother and your father want to speak to each oh, other? Oh, they use their own language. My mother will use uh, her own language and my father use his own language. <laughs> then they can understand each okay. other. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of perfectly acceptable to just wander into anybody's house here, which is pretty cool. We're in a King's uncle's house. Next, we met the former head of the village, who was a big fan of the British Empire. British people yeah. will kind of find that a bit strange because we're a little bit ashamed of, of in the past conquering all of the world and having a big empire okay, because yeah. many bad things happen with the empire. We don't see, he say, we don't see the bad things done by the British people. We only see the good things he said. Uh, uh, British young people might be ashamed of what they, they, um, the British army did the past and the bad thing about and concurring the uh, and huge empires, you know, kind of things. But what he say is that um, we are regret that the British Empire, the British people did not concur us till today. Because if they concur us and if they, the empire is still, even in today will be more developed and more than this. It must be difficult in such a small village if you have a disagreement with somebody because yeah, yeah, it's, it's such really a small hard. space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they disagree, they have a big problem. And if you go to a uh, village councillor, they try to solve the problem. Mm. If they can't do that, it's okay. If they don't, then we need to go to Flam, that is our capital place. Okay, here too. The fruits. Hey, really nice. nice. Thanks, man. What are these? Plums, right? Plums, I think, yeah, kind of plums. Quite raw. Sour, very nice. <laughs> more pain? Sorry? Which place do you specifically more have pain? Oh god. Ah. It's, 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 I want to join in, run over and kick you in the shins. <laughs> Bo Chung had exceeded all expectations and the hospitality we'd experienced here had been incredible. But with the rainy season closing in, we needed to get back to Tedim fast before the already challenging roads became completely impassable. We've had a lot of uh, cool village experiences before, but this has just been kind of a like village experience on steroids. Yeah, just everything <laughs> magnified. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. who would have thought that uh, the very same village councillors who were interrogating us when we arrived would be a few hours later, uh, <laughs> kind of mocking us and pretending to be us in a kind of village show. <laughs> We were especially going to miss Annie and Ting and their family, who had been amazing these past few days. <laughs> but it was time to get back on our bikes and begin the long journey south. Since visiting Bo Chung, we've collaborated with Mr Ting to create a fundraising appeal for development projects in the village. Due to its remote location, development in Bo Chung is hard and slow. When illness strikes, the nearest hospitals are hundreds of miles away, and the villagers are reliant on unhealthy indoor fires, which also contribute to deforestation. Your donations can facilitate sustainable development in a big way, such as buying essential health insurance for the village, or allowing them to purchase the raw materials needed to create a sustainable hydroelectric power system. Myanmar's recent military coup has plunged the country into a state of chaos and Chin State has already seen its share of violence. Right now the people of Bo Chung could benefit from our support more than ever. You can donate through our Just Giving page.